नमस्कार आई एम श्यामल सिन्हा वेलकम टू फूड इज अट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू माई चिकन भर्ता रेसिपी दिस डिश इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन इंडिया एंड अदर साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज इट्स वेरी इजी टू मेक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ चिकन हियर आई हैव बोनलेस स्किनलेस चिकन ब्रेस्ट पीसेस आई हैव लिटल बिट ऑफ फैट ऑन द पीसेस एंड वी ऑल्सो नीड सम चॉप्ड अनियन टमेटो प्योरे यू कैन यूज चॉप टमेटो जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट केशु पाउडर अगेन यू कैन यूज केशु पेस्ट लिटिल बिट ऑफ कर्ड एंड हियर आई हैव सम ग्राउंड स्पाइसिस क्यूमिन पाउडर कोरियंडर पाउडर टर्मरिक पाउडर कश्मीर रेड चिली पाउडर हॉट रेड चिली पाउडर सॉल्ट एंड शुगर एंड टू दिस आई एम गोइंग टू एड फ्यू स्पून ऑफ वॉटर एंड द मेजरमेंट विल बी ऑन माई वेबसाइट फूड इज हट रेसिपीज डॉट कॉम एंड वी ऑल्सो नीड सॉल्ट शुगर एंड वेजिटेबल ऑयल एंड फ्यू मोर अदर इनग्रीडियंट्स विच आई शो यू लेटर नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द चिकन इफ यू हैव लेफ्ट ओवर बेक चिकन यू कैन यूज दिस बट इफ यू हैव टू बेक द चिकन देन इन केस यू हैव टू प्री हिट योर अवन टू टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस रब द चिकन पीसेस विथ लिटिल बिट ऑफ सॉल्ट एंड ऑयल एंड बेक इट फॉर अबाउट टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स and then let it completely cool but today i am going to cook the chicken on the stove top because i know many of you would love to cook the chicken pieces on the stove top so let's go over to the stove first i am going to sprinkle the salt to my chicken pieces and here in this pan i have preheated some vegetable oil not much just about teaspoon of oil and now i am going to reduce the temperature to medium low and i am going to put this chicken pieces Yeah. The other one. Try to take the bigger pan. You can. This is a mistake I have done. Okay. Now increase the heat to medium high and cook for two minutes. Make sure the temperature should be medium high heat or medium, not at all in a high heat. Now it's been two minutes, so I'm going to just turn the other side and reducing the temperature absolutely low. covering with lint and let it cook for about 10 minutes you have to trust me you cannot open the lid before 10 minutes after 10 minutes just open the lid and see if it's done then turn off the heat or if not then you may be cook further for another 5 minutes but before 10 minutes do not open the lid and yes you should use a heavy duty pan because you are going to poach the chicken its own juices so when it's cooked and cool i'll show you the next step it's been 10 minutes so let's check now i'm going to check by using my fork so you can see so now i'm going to remove from heat and let it completely cool while it's happening let me preheat some oil for masala now you can cook the gravy in the same pan but as i said that this pan is small so i'm going to cook in my dutch oven here i have added vegetable oil my oil is nice and hot to this hot oil i'm going to add cinnamon stick cloves and green cardamom as a tempering so i'm adding my whole spices just stir for few seconds and now i'm going to add my chopped onion Reducing the heat to medium low, sprinkling little bit salt just for onion. Over medium, I am cooking my onion until it soften and develop a golden color. Adding my ginger garlic paste and continue cooking. Cooking for few minutes, then add tomato paste or tomato puree. Then adding the spice mixture. a little bit of water over medium heat cook until oil is separating from this mixture while this is happening let's work on the chicken now my chicken is cool so i'm just going to shred this basically i'm just trying to pull it apart you can see it's so juicy if you cook chicken breast this way it will be more juicy and you can add this chicken pieces in your sandwich and salad and it tastes yum because nobody like you know chewy rubbery chicken breast so let me continue and then we'll go over to the stove again my gravy is also done so now i'm going to add this chicken pieces giving a quick stir then i'm going to add this liquid here and 
give a very good mix. Then I will add this bitten yogurt, cashew powder or cashew paste, adding this butter and I need to add little bit extra water, just adding this water and increasing the heat to high and now let it come up to a boil and then we will add our remaining ingredients. So it start boiling this is the time I am going to add this dyed fenugreek uh, leaves which we call kasuri methi and shahi garam masala. Give a quick stir reducing the heat to low and let it simmer just for a couple of minutes so that all the flavor will be incorporated with the chicken pieces. So now it's pretty much done then if you wish you can add handful of chopped cilantro. My favorite way to eat this dish with rumali roti and naan but if I am running out of time then store bought tortilla or pita bread will do the job for me. Now I am going to pour little bit fresh cream on the top. You can add when you are serving but I am going to serve it now. So it pretty much done. Cover it with lid and give 10 to 15 minutes standing time before serve. In Kolkata, hard boiled egg served with chicken bharta. So I am going to do the same. Did you like this recipe? Then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share with others. And if this is your first time here in Foodies Art, don't forget to subscribe. Explore your known food in a different way. We will meet again. Till then, bye bye.